Hello, my name is Dan Falk, and I want to do a technical discussion of how you can use a ultra high definition television as a computer monitor. And the reason you want to do this is the uh, UHD TVs have dropped in price substantially, and you can get a very nice monitor for very little money. And uh, some of them serve very well as computer monitors, some of them don't. But I'll just tell you the one that I got after doing a bit of research. And what I did is I got the 43-inch LG, and you can see here it's the UM7300. In this case, it's the 43 UM7300. Now this is a resolution of 3840 by 2160, as you probably know. That's what UHD means. Okay, I used to have a, like a three-monitor setup and it took up a lot of desk space. Now I've liberated quite a bit of desk space by going to a single monitor. Uh, one of the interesting things is I'm running this, on the, currently I'm running this on Windows 7, although Windows 10 works equally well, I tried it with another computer. Now I wanna show you about how you can do split screen on Windows 7 or 10, just like this. So you can have multiple screens side by side um, it, you know, because you say, well, it's overwhelming to have, um, you know, one big screen, but uh, you can do a software split screen. I'm not here to get into all of that. What I do want to tell you is what it takes, the prerequisites, to get the UHD TV work to work well as a monitor. Now, I have an ancient Lenovo uh, ThinkPad. It's a W520. So it's circa 2011. It's not new by any means. So this particular machine only has... Uh, Display port out. I mean, it doesn't have HDMI output. Therefore, one of the things I want to tell you right off the top is you what you want to do is get an adapter if you have a display port only. Now, if you have HDMI output, it has to be HDMI 2.0 in order for it to work with it at this resolution. So I I purchased the pluggable active display port to HDMI adapter. I'm not trying to sell their product. I just think they're a reliable, decent product. It was like $18. There's other ones that are probably equally good. You also have to have this, which is a uh, 2.0 version HDMI cable. Not just any old cable is going to work. It has to be 2.0 ca capable. That is the um, 18 gigabit, I believe it is. So you can see I'm, there's three, on this TV, there's three HDMI 2.0 inputs in the back and I'm using one of them. One of the problems I had uh, was with what they call overscan where this is truncated. This is spread out and the reason for that is is that the TV will do overscan based on the signal source. So you have to tweak some settings in order to get this to work properly. I've seen some people say you should tweak them in software, but you're going to get fuzzy looking text. It's not going to drive the screen at its native resolution. And as a result, it isn't going to look right. So what you want to do is you grab your LG remote and there's a settings button. And I know it's getting out of focus. Sorry about that. But I'm going to hit the settings button. And once I hit settings, I get this menu here. And I'm going to go down to all settings. Okay, and um, I chose this particular picture mode, which is, they call it, um, the picture mode I chose is called Expert Darkroom. Almost any picture mode actually does work. Um, now if I get, I'm going to select that, I'm going to go into my picture mode, and um, I, I chose some particular settings. You may find things uh, work better for you with some other settings, but like contrast, brightness, sharpness. Sharpness should be set to zero. That You don't want the TV to do any processing. You want the input from the TV, from the computer rather, I'm sorry, to be, as, um, to be displayed just as is, without any alteration by the TV set itself. Now, there's the aspect ratio setting. Now I'm gonna get into that menu. And the aspect ratio you want is original. In other words, whatever's coming from the, here I'll show you, whatever's coming from the computer, you want it to be displayed uh, verbatim. And this is actually going to be the same as 16 to 9 because uh, otherwise things aren't going to work out too well for you. But original or 16 to 9 both work and they really mean the same thing in this case. 
Now, the just scan mode. You have to set it to on. If you don't, I'll show you what happens. If I set it to off or auto, I'll show you what's going to happen. And, and this, this is one of the key settings. I'd like to show you. Let's try it. There we go. Just Okay, I set just scan mode to off. Now you'll see what's going to happen here. Okay, let's, let's clear out. Now you can see what I'm talking about with this overscan. Uh, the, the taskbar has disappeared. The icons are cut off. That's because the TV is saying, oh, this is coming from a TV source and I'm going to... It's doing some funky processing. So you, you don't want that to happen. So the way to get rid of it once again is we're going to go back into all settings. I just want you to be aware of this because this is going to be really frustrating for you if you don't get it right. I get back into aspect ratio and then the just scan mode has got to be set to on. Not auto, not off, but on. Let's go back. And now you see once again that, that it's being displayed properly. Now, yeah, that's the TV I purchased. Now, like I said, uh, you do have a few software tweaks. Let me just show you. I had to, first of all, this old W520 Lenovo, I, I want, you know, I used to, I've tried this experiment with some more modern computers as well. I wanted to show you that uh, this will even work on an old computer. First of all, I'm only running, this computer is a bit feeble. It has discrete graphics, but I can only drive this resolution at 30 hertz. And yet, 30 hertz actually looks pretty darn good. I don't have any issue with it. I've even watched videos at 30 hertz. I don't really notice the difference. And for text, and I do a lot of programming, that it doesn't make any difference whatsoever to me. All right, so what I did is, in BIOS, I had, I had to set... Uh, the computer to use discrete graphics only. You can't use the so-called Optimus mode, which was, um, you know, that, that may not affect you. If you want to talk to me about that, you can send me a comment. So I went into the NVIDIA control panel, because I have NVIDIA Plus. It also has Intel graphics on this machine. And the, um, the, the um, high resolution mode didn't show up automatically. Uh, so I was forced to go in and do a customize and develop my own uh, resolutions. So you can do that. Uh, you can show, uh, enable resolutions that are not exposed by the display. So that's how you can um, define your own resolutions if you don't get them out of your uh, software program. But anyway, so I, ha I, I did have to set the resolution up here in the NVIDIA program. Of course, you may have some other graphics card, so I don't want to go into detail about that, but like I said, you can get in touch with me and we can talk about it. Anyway, so at this point, um, there are some other settings you might be interested in. Uh, I, maybe I'll touch on these briefly. I don't want to get into a lot of detail about that. Some of them are a matter of personal preference. Some of them, you know, can mess you up because, after all, this, this thing is oriented towards being a... ah. Here's something I meant to show you, additional settings. You, you want to have uh, all, HDMI ultra deep color. I'll tell you what this is in just a second. Let's just click on it. And if you'll notice that, in fact, uh, I have it set to on. If you don't have this so-called ultra deep color set to on on this uh, TV set, then your colors become compressed. So this sets the mode to what they call chroma 444, which is uncompressed color. If you don't have it set that way, then you could get some uh, poor looking text. So I think we covered the basics. You've got to have the, uh, if you only have DisplayPort, you have to go DisplayPort to HDMI 2.0 Active Adapter, and you have to get the HDMI. Uh, I'm sorry about that ringing, and about the HDMI 2.0 cable, but yes, this particular monitor is perfectly usable as a, this particular TV is perfectly capable for very good use as a computer monitor, and I recommend it. Thank you.